Hi, my name's Dan Delavan. I'm the owner-operator of Plaza Cutlery in Costa Mesa, California. We have a great selection. We also have a website, plazacutlery.com. And today we're going to be talking about knives. Sharpening stone is a stone that's got a coarse side and usually a finer side. And that's going to take and reshape your edge and get it back down thin enough in order to sharpen. You're basically taking something that is blunt and thinning it back down. You have to remove all this extra metal and get it back down to where it's thin enough to cut. Because very simply, all a knife is is a very thin piece of steel to split whatever you're cutting. If the knife is uh, obviously thicker, it's like trying to cut something with a chisel. It's not going to happen. There's the two stones. There's the India and there's the Chrysalon. And once you feel them, obviously the difference is, is coarseness. The one thing about the India stone, it's a harder stone and the brown is the finer side. You have to use oil with it, you cannot use it dry. So therefore it's messy. The coarse stone will cut the metal off quicker, but it's gonna give you a rougher edge. But that way the job gets done quicker. Without the oil, it's not as messy. This is just a real simple setup. If you do woodwork, you can make a little wooden box and route it out. In this particular case, it's just a two by four. The stone traced out, finishing nails uh, tapped down so they're deeper than the uh, stone. So when you drop the stone in, if you're at a workbench, you can C-clamp it down in place, or you can hold on to it. So you're gonna start at the heel, and you're gonna time it. So it goes across, all the way across. And you go from one side to the other. You also wanna make sure that your stone, I'm not gonna use as much pressure as I normally would because I, I can't mount it on this showcase. But you want to alternate from side to side to keep your bevel uh, centered. Some people will take and do three times on one side and then three times on the other. The problem is, is that your backhand is never as good as your forehand and you end up cheating and you're going to end up with a blade that's offset. And that's going to take and thin down, you're going to get a thin bevel right on the edge. So once you get that V established, you can go from the coarser side to the finer side. And it's the same thing. You want to alternate from one side to the other. And you just keep working it until it smooths it out. Usually it doesn't take quite as long on this side because you're just kind of smoothing it out. And as you go through the finer stones, if you just choose to do that, you're just polishing. The other question is angle. How do I know what angle to use? It's a real simple guide. If you can imagine this was a big cube of butter and you know how it goes bad, you're just gonna flay the top of it off. Again, there's people that do it other ways. If it works for them, great. This is the tried, true, simple way of doing it.